Two days ago, U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams told an interviewer that the coronavirus task force of the White House is now dumping Bill Gates' predictive models of pandemic spread for the coronavirus, for COVID-19. Models uh, are projections uh, when you don't have data. We actually have data. And so we're tracking that data. And when we're not as reliant on these models as we are on saying, this is what's happening in California. This is what's happening in New York. That's no small step. He says now we have real data to work on. And that real data does not correspond with Bill Gates's models. Now he's walking it very carefully and he's not accusing Bill Gates obviously of anything, but what are we left to think? If you add to that the fact that Donald Trump has now announced that the United States is withdrawing all funding of the WHO, the World Health Organization. Today I'm instructing my administration to halt Funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Everybody knows what's going on there. That, combined with Adam's statement, is a huge indictment as Gates and the WHO walk hand in hand not to mention with Anthony Fauci, a man who's been White House medical advisor since before Clinton, the first. (laughs) So what does this mean to us? What does this mean as we slowly awaken from the slumber and we are slowly allowed back our freedoms? Well, it means that in the next weeks and months, we can start reviewing what just happened. Hindsight is 2020. Now we can start looking a lot more carefully. And here's one thing I want to suggest we all demand. It's a very simple test that we can ask researchers to undertake. All they have to do is review the data of death certificates during the last two months. We know that researchers have followed the data including actual deaths of cancer, heart disease, and many other major killers. So these same researchers are going to be faced with a very odd situation when reviewing the data of the last two months. Because I don't know about you, but I've seen testimonies from multiple doctors saying that they were coerced into reporting cause of death as being COVID-19 for people they knew died of other causes. We've heard of families who had family members, elderly family members who had cancer, terminal cancer for years, who expired and the doctors told them the cause was COVID-19. All you had to do was test positive with a test that has proved to have 80% false positive rates and the cause of death was COVID-19. There have even been instances of patients going to the hospital reporting flu symptoms simply wanting help with their severe flu symptoms and being told that they had COVID-19, having COVID-19 stamped on the forms they were given, even though they disputed that and did not believe it to be the case themselves, and they were never tested. They were simply told, you are a COVID-19 victim. Worst of all, a critical care specialist doctor from New York, Dr. Cameron Kyle Seidel, came out with a video suggesting his fears that the use of respirators was actually causing more harm than good. His experience told him that what he was witnessing was not a normal respiratory virus, but something akin to high altitude sickness. Now, I didn't know this, but I was shocked to find out that the way a respirator works is you are paralyzed chemically and then a tube is stuffed down your throat, and your lungs are inflated mechanically like a church organ. You are paralyzed, I repeat, and that is done to you. 
This doctor had patients asking him not to do it to them because they were still conscious. In his experience, patients aren't still conscious when they need this treatment. So without coming right out and saying it, he implied pretty clearly the possibility that this treatment was actually killing people. So when we add that to the false documentation of death certificates, we have a severe investigation ahead of us. So here's what we need to ask for in the next weeks and months, year maybe, is a simple review of death certificate data of all hospitals in the United States, possibly the world. If there is a marked drop in other causes of death, we have the smoking gun proof that the figures were inflated and that we were forced into a state of panic by false premise. You can't have two glasses of sand and fill the other glass by removing sand from the other without the first one dropping. It's a simple mathematical fact. So I'm asking you to ask whoever you can to make our voices heard, to simply have this data analyzed. And if we discover that in addition to Bill Gates models being faulty, that we were provided with false information as to infection rates and death rates, that's a crime. And there's a lot of money involved in this particular crime. Both the money that people like Gates would have made from vaccines and the money that's being lost by you and I in an economy that has been shattered. This situation is unprecedented in human history that such a small group of men were able to dictate to the world like lemmings to jump off a cliff at their whim. We can hold them responsible. We should hold them responsible. God knows they have plenty of financial assets. So let's get to it, people. Ask questions. Now we can look back. Now we can ask for answers. If this idea resonates with you, please share this video. I have been shadow banned for years by YouTube. I will get very low views. But if you think that this idea of holding them accountable simply by reviewing data is worth pursuing, please share this video. It's just an idea we need to spread or make your own video making the same request. The more of us that make these requests and make these videos, simply asking, for the data to be reviewed so that we know whether or not we were lied to. It's not a big request and it's nothing difficult to do. And, you know, I, I urge people to, to, to drop their fears. They're not going to kick your door down. The police aren't going to come because the deep state is after you because you've asked these questions. Their only power is in our inactivity. And the minute we start taking a little responsibility and asking some proper questions, their power will disappear.